My friend Pete, I gotta say, you're a goddamn inspiration. I've seen your video on the corporate product line. And you keep speaking truth to power, because that's the truth. That's the, that's not nickel and dime and Americans like that. Not to mention, it brought me to think about uh, aftermarket products. No matter what you buy, it, it's tool made of uh, uh, cheap alloy down to hardware. It doesn't matter. But that was in, uh, a very educational video. I learned a hell of a lot. Because uh, that's not my line. That's not my uh, level of expertise. But I've learned a hell of a lot from your channel. So uh, I really appreciate your work. And uh, at least I know what not to buy. And uh, a buddy of mine uh, does auto body. That's what he does. I want to go in with him. I'm learning a hell of a lot. Uh, I think I got a knack for this kind of thing. But uh, anyway, great work. And I uh, hope you guys are doing great. One of your biggest fans. So uh, this is Tim, Dirty South, over and out. Uh, I look forward to seeing the rest of uh, this week or next month, what have you, and... Uh, and hope you get your uh, all your shit together over there. Seems like you're doing a hell of a lot of work. And uh, appreciate it again. So you just keep thinking truth to power. Fucking bullshit. Elitist corporations uh, shortchanging the middleman, working man, middle class, starving class. Over and out. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. We just got back from Harbor Freight. Um, I went ahead and bought the 20,000 pound capacity super duty hydraulic equipment kit, and this is called a Porta Power. Now, we're going to take a look at the um, tool in a minute, but this is the biggest ram power, Porta Power type machine that uh, Harbor Freight sells, and they do have a 10,000 pound machine, but I went ahead and got the 20,000 pound capacity. I thought it was a pretty good deal at about $149. I think that's what I paid for it, something like that. And we're going to go ahead and try this out and see how it works straight from Harbor Freight. This is the Porta Power. This is the heavy duty one. They sell two of them, like I said. This is the bigger one of the two. And this kit includes the pump, the ram, extension tubes, mail connector, hydraulic spreader, the wedge head, rubber head, serrated saddle, the V-base, the ram toe, plunger toe, flat base, heavy duty hydraulic hose. So we got a lot of stuff here to work with. Let's take a look at the job we're going to use this on and hopefully it's going to work for what we need. What we got here is a 1964 Volkswagen Beetle. A tree fell on the roof, you can see it right here, and we are going to save this roof without replacing the roof. Uh, it's crushed in pretty bad and hopefully the Harbor Freight uh, system is going to cut the mustard. Now we already went ahead and took the headliner out and also all the interior and to do this job I went ahead and made these wood bucks 
and this is where I'll be sitting my machine on because we don't want to put it on the floor because the power of the machine from lifting this roof up I'm afraid that what's going to happen it'll put a hole in the floor and we don't want that I also got a 2x4 back here where I can run my machine back and forth on that to catch some of this up here alright uh, when we open up our kit this is what we're looking at right here um, you can see that it comes with all the paperwork necessary if you don't know how to use it here's your owner's manual and basically tells everything that's going on with the unit um, I kind of like this idea right here this is pretty nice to have especially on the roof that we're working on we're not going to use that yet but we're going to keep that in mind and then of course here is your uh, solid bar that's going to go on to one of these which actually connects these together let me show you how that happens do you see how that happens there okay see that's just an extra one to connect them all together and then this here actually stretches out to be let's see how tall that will get and hopefully it will be tall enough for us because we got to get all the way up into that roof and I think it will what are you thinking yeah, you still got one more piece. Over and then I got another piece over there. So, so far this item actually looks to be a good item from Harbor Freight. Um, let's go ahead and set it up in there. Now, these are your extension bars. Let me go ahead and take those apart. I want to show you. Okay, you get all these extensions right here. And then, of course, you get this one with it too. And then this is your starter extension. Uh, the tool that we're going to use on this is that we're going to use the flat foot right here. And then we're also going to use this piece right here. All right. Now, I did want to show you this. This item comes with a pair of separating scissors. And it says right here that it's good up to one half ton of pressure. So if you were like in a collision and you needed to get that door pried open or something, you can stick this in there and then you hook it up to your machine, which is your. Uh, pump right here let's go ahead and get that out and then of course that's your pump and then this is your ram and the way that that hooks up is you take this off right here now another thing that I have I actually have a hydraulic pump a 10,000 pound pump or maybe it's 20,000 pound which has the same end on it and I can hook it up to my air and use this with that but we're not going to do that we're going to use the system that it comes with so then you would take this off right here on your 20 ton ram they claim this is a 20 ton ram now the question I have is if it goes bad on you and you have to rebuild it where do you get the parts for this thing did you ever think of that one Manny? no because today is pretty much a throwaway it's a throwaway world you're exactly so uh, you would take exactly. it back to where you bought it and they throw it away and give you no one yeah, pretty much huh all right, so we do have our ram hooked up. There's our uh, end where we start adding all these. See there? Right. Okay. And then what we'll do, and you can see right here, you can actually add an end. Like here we go, for instance, um, which we might be doing this. Put that on there, and then this. There you go. You see what I'm saying? Or you can use whichever you want to actually push it out. And then you would put this on there, and then voila, let's uh, go ahead and pump that up for a few pumps and see what happens. Um, this actually screws into it. It doesn't just sit in there, so that's nice. I like that deal. Okay, and then we're going to tighten up our release valve. And looky here, Manny. Do you see that? working really really nice I like it Yay. okay so we're gonna go ahead and release it and then you can see it's spring loaded which is nice that means that's a spring loaded system which uh, drops it down very quickly okay let's get this thing together here we're gonna try to use this in our Volkswagen over there and see if it actually does anything we don't know Harbor Freight you know what I'm saying we love Harbor Freight there you go Okay, I've been using my Harbor Freight uh, Porta Power 
you can see what's going on here. I'm actually using this pointed uh, pusher because I'm hitting this ridge right here. Which is this area right here, which is a low spot on the back side, and that's what we're trying to hit. So, if you look real close, you can see everything that I've already pulled out using my Harbor Freight quarter power. Um, we went down this side of the roof over here, and we got all that section out. And all we got left now is this little dip right here, and then of course, That's a big dip in the front. Big dip in the front. So we're going to try to get this back one out first. And the way that we're doing that, we're going around. We're going around the edge. We're not hitting the center of it. If I hit the center of it, the center will pop up and it'll be higher than everything else. So we got to get all these low spots first. So our Harbor Freight Porta Power is actually turning out to be a really, really good item here. If uh, Mandy the Body Shop girl could go ahead and work that, can you work the pump? All right, go slow now. Slow. There you go. Now, if this all works out, we should hear it pop. It looks like it's going. Okay. Yeah, keep going. I can see it moving right here. Okay, hold it right there. All right, now let it down. Okay, this is going to actually, what we're trying to do here, go around. So if many can let it down a little bit, keep going. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and remove this end. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my rubber end on there. And we'll see what that does. Go ahead and let it up. So we're going to use the rubber end on this now because I'm um, using that sharp edge ain't going to cut the mustard. But I want to get in this area right here which you can see, and then we'll see what happens when we're pushing it up. But so far, our Harbor Freight item is turning out to be a good tool. Let's get this port of power out of here and let's look at the roof and see what our Harbor Freight did for us on using a port of power from Harbor Freight. Now, I might have went to the extreme on this, but the real deal is I do a lot of collision repair and such, so I went ahead and bought the big one. Once again, they do have a smaller one that's like 80 bucks. Was it $80? I believe so. And it's a 10000 but it's not as big as this and it doesn't have as much reach. Let's go ahead and look at that roof. And see what it did. Okay, we got a little bit of tin cannon going on up here, but as far as really actually pulling it out, I think one, once I get all this hammered dullied in this area here, and that's going to stretch that out, we're going to take care of See this high spot right here? Yeah. That's what's actually causing this. So the Port of Power did the job for us. It took out the uh, what can we say? The main damage of the situation. Yeah. The roof looks really good. Thanks for all your help, man. The body shop girl. What do you think of Harbor Freight Port of Power Tools? We love Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight's nice. Harbor Freight does a good job. And Harbor Freight just saved us a lot of money from pulling, or should I say cutting the roof off and actually replacing the whole roof. So if you're in the market for a uh, Port of Power, they actually have two versions over there at uh, Harbor Freight. This is the large one, 20,000 pound capacity. And then they also have a smaller one, which is 10,000. Check it out. I like it. It did a good job for us. And I think it was well worth the cash. Harbor Freight came through once again.
Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.